The pandemic has had an impact on all kinds of small businesses, and that includes wedding photography. But as News 3 reporter Zach Dahlheimer shows us, one Virginia Beach photographer has adapted to the times while still being able to capture lifelong memories. Couple of flash. Look at that. For eight years, the A7 threes. Robert Ham's flash. office. Nice shallow depth of field. Has looked like this. We look at ourselves as the scribe of light. Owning a wedding photography business in Virginia Beach. I think lots of people try to create memories, but we're trying to capture your moment with the eye of a historian. But in a flash, he says the pandemic impacted his business this year. We had uh, 38 weddings planned for 2020. And when COVID was announced and the lockdowns went into place, the protective measures, we had uh, all but four cancel. This is how I provide for my family. When I lose an income because of COVID, it was a, a scary time because it means that we had to look at uh, the different uh, equities that we had in our home in order to make things pass by. We find our clients through online and marketing and through word of mouth. And so when the clients dry up, so does the income dry up. So, so we put a hair light right here. Now, he adapted his business, working smaller ceremonies outside and also going into live streaming. This is the, the meat and potatoes, so to speak, of the live streaming. People can come up while the waiting room would be happening before the bride would walk down and on that live stream wish their, their best wishes to the bride. The reaction has actually been really great. Most of the time, people are excited to be in front of the camera. Uh, not very shy, especially the kids. It's almost a form of rebellion against this unforeseen event of COVID that gives them some empowerment. He's staying focused and will keep going. I do believe in the power of positive thinking. Positive thinking. Looking good. While looking for the perfect shot. In Virginia Beach. Move on to our next shot. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.